good morning uh, today we are going to learn about uh, energy gap of semiconductor so the aim of the experiment is to determine the energy gap of a given semiconductor using the diode in reverse bias so what is the apparatus we require that one you see observe that one the apparatus we require so voltmeter we are going to see here and uh, microammeter and uh, here that one we are using here diode so you observe that one this is the diode injection diode and uh, we are using that one oil engine oil we are going to use uh, I'm diode I'm going to impress inside the engine oil so this is the way I'm going to impress inside the engine oil and uh, one thermometer so this is the apparator mainly we are going to this is the heater where I'm going to heat this oil that one we required a heater so this is the apparatus we are going to use and a patch cord also one more patch cord we have to so the circuit is already connected that one uh, so you want to connect you connect using the circuit diagram so this is the circuit diagram where we have to connect that one so this is the power supply and uh, uh, this is the voltmeter this is the microammeter this is the diode so we, we have to connect from start from the diode so diode to ammeter so ammeter to power supply power supply we have connected in series then voltmeter i have to connect it to so this diode in parallel connection so this is the connections are connected here that one already it is connected so okay right uh, start taking the reading what is that one what is the formula we required here that one to find out the energy gap here so this is the formula we have to require energy gap slope the slope we are getting from the graph from graph we are getting the slope right the slope into 1.725 into 24 of minus 4 electron volts otherwise you want to uh, take out here in joules joules form you have here the uh, this is the equation so this equation value you are getting from the, this equation here right so the terms is given that one so now i how to do start this experiment so i'm going to start here that one power supply switch on first switch on the power supply okay so now you place here that one some voltage to run the circuit okay now i'm not calculating how much voltage i'm placing here so just i'll going to place here that one voltage so then um, I'm, I'm start going to start here the heater so heater i'm going to switch on so i'm going to connect here the heater connections right heater connections so this is this is power on it's showing the power on light so I have taken some voltage here see that one some voltage suppose I place at uh, 4 volts or 6 volts as you like to run the circuit here okay when you are going to increase here that one the ammeter also is going to increasing that one see observe that one ammeter value also is going to increase so according to ammeter you place out how much voltage you have so I will start the reading from 150 suppose so I will put 150 that is the voltage is uh, uh, here uh, less than the two volts we have that to, uh, to run the circuit here okay so now uh, i'll start here the experiment uh, using that one you switch on the heater i'll switch on the heater when i'm going to switch on the heater right so uh, the temperature inside the thermometer is going to increase in here so this is the line red line showing that one temperature is slowly increasing so the heater will going to switch on up to 70 up to 70 then switch off the heater switch off the heater and keep it on the power here so then the heater automatically i mean that oil will go to heat and uh, automatically it will go to 72 80 80 to 90 then it going to stop here at 90 or 95 we'll start reading from that one taking the reading in uh, a decreasing order okay suppose it stopped here at 95 so i'll start here the reading here 95 so we'll go for the table so what is what we required here that one right so here the temperature so temperature he started here that one 80 degrees as you like that one uh, it is you start from 25 or 100 or 90 95 the as you like he started here that one 80 degrees and uh, every five degrees every five degrees is going to decreasing up to 40 now 80 degrees what is the current value he is 